Hey, what's going on my fellow paratrippers? Welcome to today's episode of Paranormal Day Trip. And it's actually a town that has really become one of my top favorites, especially around this time of season with the wildflowers and the blue bonnets. Blue bonnet season, oh, it just makes it so worth coming out here. But especially the history and places that are not only historical, but have paranormal experiences. And that's where we're going today. We're gonna go check out the oldest furniture store still owned by the same family in Texas. And I can't wait to uh, go check it out and walk around and, and get a tour and hear some of the stories. So what are we waiting for? Let's go inside the uh, Herman Furniture Store here in the historic and busy town of Brenham, Texas. Here we go. I love experiencing the enchanting allure of Brenham, Texas during blue bonnet season, where the rolling hills come alive with the vibrant hues of these iconic wildflowers. Set against the backdrop of Brenham's charming history, dating back to its frontier days and pivotal role in Texas's independence, a visit during this time offers a unique blend of natural beauty and historical significance. A day trip to Brenham with these scenic fields of blue bonnets as a backdrop is the ideal time to uncover the captivating tales that have shaped this quaint town into the beloved destination it is today with its rich history and ghostly lore. Amidst the tales of frontier settlers and Old West legends, Herman Furniture Store stands as a testament to Brenham's heritage. Established in 1876, this storied establishment not only offers a curated collection of finely crafted furniture spanning centuries, but also serves as a hub for supernatural intrigue. So let's go inside and check it out. Okay, so we are here with... Jennifer Herman. Je oh, yes. the, the actual Herman? Yes. The Herman, the Herman <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm fifth generation. Wow. And we're the oldest family owned and operated furniture store in the state of Texas. Wow. We've been here since 1876. Wow. Continuously. Continuously. Wow. Tell us about your store. What? We're about 30,000 square feet uh -huh. and we're full line furniture, home accessory gift. We have an emporium next door and uh, antique mall, children's boutique, wow. a little bit of men's clothing. So lots of, lots of stuff. Wow. Y'all have a, like a website or something that people can... We have a website. It's HermanFurniture.com that you can go on. We're on Instagram, Facebook, uh -huh. so you can find us that way. Okay. And uh, depending on how much history you want on the place, uh, we were part of uh, funeral home too as well at the time. Oh, wow. And okay. so we actually still have an old casket over there, but furniture stores had the cabinet makers. Cabinet makers made the caskets. So, hence... So... We also heard this place is haunted. And in fact, I was just talking to Mary that does our bookkeeping and everything. She had a lady one time, she was coming down the steps and normally there's a chair or something kind of right back in here. And a lady came to the counter and she said, I, she just said, I don't want to frighten you or anything. She said, but I saw an older lady sitting back there on the chair. Mm -hmm. This is actually Mary and she can tell you that a little bit better even than I can. Um, a lady came up to the front counter one time uh -huh. and she said, I don't want to alarm anybody and I'm not here to promote myself or anything, uh -huh. but I just wanted to let you know that there's a lady sitting in a chair okay, yeah, back yeah. here by okay. the office and it had been very recent to Aunt Beverly's passing. Wow. Okay. So I said, well, that must be Aunt Bev then. Um, we had some ornaments in the back on a shelf and I was up working everything and I, something fell and I knew what it was. I knew uh -huh. it was that ornament. And so I walked back there, it was right by the steps, so pushed everything back on and I uh, went back to work. Another one fell. So we're going to do this again. So I walked back there, pushed everything back on, made sure it was fine. You know, nothing had moved forward or anything because uh -huh. nobody was walking back there. And then uh, it happened again. And finally, my Uncle Ernest is supposedly haunts the store. And finally, I just said, look, Uncle Ernest, whoever you are, I'm not going anywhere. I have to get this done. You can knock the whole shelf over. I don't care. It's like crickets for the rest of the night. Wow. Not one sound. You can always hear something moving or cre you know, creaking or something uh -huh. like that. Wow. So, yeah. Uh -huh. And then Wendy has a story. Uh oh Do you have a story? <laughs> I do, actually. So, this is Wendy. Hi. I, um... I was at the counter and uh -huh. this nice family came up and they said that they 
they heard and saw something in antiques. They described a man that was short and bald, and he had a cigar in his mouth. It wasn't me. And um, I thought, yeah, okay. You know, have a nice day. And then about a year later, another family came up and described the same, wow. thing, exactly the same thing. Wow. I had chills. I mean, I have chills talking about it. Wow. So, yeah, yeah, it was pretty cool. There's a designer that works for us. She was in here with her mother, uh -huh. and uh, my dad hadn't been gone but a couple months. Okay. And she, at home that night, said, I saw Mr. Herman. Yeah. And she was like, well, Mom, you know, he passed away. And she said, well, I saw him in the furniture store. He had a clipboard in his hand, and he was in a hurry. Uh -huh. And so... And, but saw him back here somewhere. Same thing like he had Bev, was back in this area. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna go check out the funeral home. <laughs> this was the funeral home. This was the funeral home. Wow. And you'll see the two big double doors back there. Uh -huh. Those would open up, things would come in or stuff off of the railroad. But this is where the carriages would come in. And uh, the floor actually, they've got a board on it because it sits in their booth, but there's actual drain. It dips down. This is where part of the embalming is to take place. Oh, wow. Okay. And then if you turn around and look up in the crate that's up there, uh -huh. there's actually an old casket oh, yeah. in there. And it's a cast iron like they used to bury people at Sea Whip. Oh, wow. So but you can't really get up there. And it's really heavy, so that's why it's still up there. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> is there a, a certain part of the uh, the store, the building, that may be more active than others, or that or maybe people feel more than um, other places? No, we've kind of had it all over. We've really? had some people saw some little kids playing at the top of the steps one time, uh -huh. um, and the, not this staircase, but the one over in the other part. Uh -huh. I and one other person have seen a gentleman going down the steps in oh, like wow. an old kind of derby hat. And, Wow. And so it didn't look like family or anything, but somebody that, that probably worked here or something at the time. If you sit here at night when it's like right after close and it's dark, or not dark, but just after we close and everything, if you'll sit down, you can hear pacing. Wow. And that's because we walk the store and always have before we close. Yeah. And wow. you can hear pacing. It's obvious pacing. It's yeah, obvious yeah. footsteps. It's not just the wood. It's not just the wood. It's, or, yeah. it's actual footsteps. Right. I've never been afraid here. There's only one time that I was afraid. It was uh -huh. over in the middle building up front. I was working up there and I heard footsteps going back and forth pretty heavy. And up back then, part uh -huh. of that was storage. Okay. And so so uh, I went up there and looked. I'm used to this place. I grew up here, so sure, I wasn't sure, afraid yeah. of anything. Came back down, started working again, and it got louder and faster back and forth. So I went up one more time, nothing. And then came back down, started working again, and it was pounding. And I said, I think it's time for me to go. That was a lot of fun. You know, stepping into Herman Furniture, one is transported to another era where the sense of age wood mingles with whispers of bygone days. Beyond its antique facade lies a treasure trove of historical artifacts, each piece steeped in craftsmanship and tradition. Yet it's the store's reputation as a hotspot for ghostly encounters that adds an extra layer of allure. Whether seeking fine furnishings or a brush with the paranormal, a visit to Herman Furniture promises a memorable journey through Brenham's living history, and it should definitely be part of your paranormal day trip itinerary. I want to thank Wendy, Mary, and most of all, Jennifer Herman for telling us your stories and giving us a walkthrough of your amazing store, and we can't wait to go back, hopefully for a possible investigation. We'll see. And we want to thank you guys, our fellow paratrippers, for coming along with us on this paranormal day trip. And we hope to see you on the next one. Peace. Ford Motor Company, so we have a big freight elevator back there too. Oh, really? You can see the Yeah. Just too much fun.